In this video, we're gonna have a look at this pneumorphic button that it enables you to switch states from off to on and back and forth. It also features a micro interaction when you hold your mouse, press down, it has a special in-between state uh, that sort of looks as if it were pressed through the surface and then back up again. So this visual style is called pneumorphism. And what is characteristic for uh, pneumorphism is that these visual elements, these UI elements, look as if they are a part of the surface they're on, but being slightly elevated or pressed downwards. So, and especially in this case, it kind of looks as if it were a fabric um, underneath which there, there would be a, an ellipse that would be pushing the fabric upwards or downwards you know, pulling it downwards in this case. So let's actually have a look um, at how to build this. We're gonna start by creating an ellipse that's gonna be 220 pixels and it's gonna feature a text that's gonna say off. It's gonna be gray. I'm just gonna copy the colors. We're gonna add two drop shadows, one, is going to be black and will be on the bottom side of the button. Specific setup is 54, 64 and 13. And the second one will be uh, white and it will be on the top part of the button. Minus 46, 64. Now we will select this and create a component. We're going to name this one old, we're not confused, um, pneumorphic. And so this is also going to have the on text. So I'm going to copy this and type in on. But it's not going to be visible yet. So that would be the first state where it's basically, you know, where the button is off. We're gonna create another variant. The variant is gonna be called turning, let's say turning on. We're gonna name this property um, state. What's gonna happen in this state? So first of all, these shadows are gonna be switched. So we will just move this white shadow to the bottom side of the button and vice versa. So minus 46, in the case of the white shadow, is gonna turn into 54. And on the black one, 54 is gonna turn into minus 46, right? So we changed places. Um, also in this state, the ellipse is going to be slightly darker. Good, we also need to move the on text a little bit upwards. So the idea is that as you are pressing this down, you see that the text that says off is coming off the screen or off the button while text that says on is fading in. So the opacity of this is gonna be 100 whereas this one is gonna be 10. You can also notice that it's being moved upwards. Then we're, we're gonna take this and create another state. This is gonna be again, so the off sign is gonna be completely invisible. Move the 20 pixels to the top. This on sign is gonna be in the middle and the shadows are gonna be back in place. Minus 46 and 54. The color of the ellipse, lighter gray. Then we're gonna need a state where um, you have to fix this. 13, okay, had to fix the shadow. So we need to create a version where kind of this, the sign that says on is coming off the screen. So it's gonna be similar to this one, except the roles are gonna be reversed. So again, duplicate this. And um, now let's move this downwards. The off one is going to be visible, fully visible, and this one is going to be partially visible. The distance between those will be three pixels. We're going to align them to the center. And just to make sure that the colors are correct, I'm going to also set the background color of this component to gray. So you can see that it completely changed the appearance. So as soon as the background is the same color or very similar to the button color, it looks as if the button were a part of the surface which is the aim good so now we need to specify i think we can delete this we need to specify the interaction what happens when you click certain states so when you are in the off state and you click it it's going to lead you to this state um, it's not going to be on click but while pressing um, and while pressing, it's gonna be in this state. And then from this state that is being pressed, it's gonna to lead to the on state. 
but not on click, but when mouse is going up. So this means that when you, the mouse button is actually being released at the moment. So you press down and you release, right? So that's the process we need to. And um, again, oops, also we, we need to, again, we need to swap these shadows. So it's gonna be 54 and minus 46, right? So, and from this state, um, again, while pressing, is gonna take us to this state. So each interaction is gonna have the similar settings down here. It's gonna be smart animate, ease in and out, and 200 milliseconds. And from, from this state, when it's being released, we want to go back to the off state. So that's gonna be, again, mouse up, change to default. Right, and let's see what we got. Let's test this. And here it is, here's the result. A neomorphic button with in-between states with micro interactions that are that reflect when the button is actually being pressed. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you are into this type of stuff, I do a lot of tutorials on Figma and UI design. So make sure to subscribe if this is something that interests you. Uh, thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one.